I'm Mike Sullivan, and today we're gonna to talk about something that is super easy to do, that is almost guaranteed to help you hit better golf shots. Okay, so we just got back from the President's Cup up uh, in uh, Jersey City, New Jersey. And, um, you know, for the past few years, I've been working a lot with uh, some corporate events where I get a chance to see 50 or 60 or 100 people in the course of a four-day four golf tournament. And from looking at so many golf swings and so many people, average golfers, what, what I really notice a lot is that is that golfers tend to get off track in their golf swing really, really early, and then after that point, everything is a compensation. And a lot of times, if you ever see your swing on video, you may look at it and say, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start, it just doesn't look right. Well, you know, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you set up properly, you grip the club properly, and we've done some video, videos about those, and I'll attach a little description or a card will come by or something to help you with that. But once you get set up to the ball correctly, what I want you to do this is I want you to make a one piece takeaway. And, and the definition of a one piece takeaway is this. As you set up, you're holding the club obviously in your hands and your arms along with your shoulders, they form this triangle, okay? So this triangle, we want to maintain this triangle as we start that backswing. So what I'm doing is I am turning my shoulders as I take the club back. Oftentimes we see this. So see what just happened there? Is, uh, is, and this is something that, that, that we see a lot of people do, is they start their golf swing with their hands initiating the club, then they start to make a move with their body, but what happens is their club gets way off plane. And when I say off plane, what I mean is their club gets in a position where they cannot get back to the ball and hit the ball unless they make a big compensation. So looking at it down the target line, here's what we're looking at. When we make a good takeaway, a nice one piece takeaway, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this club back by turning my shoulders. And as I turn my shoulders, what happens is the low end of the club points at the target line. So right now the, my club head is pointing at my target line, way back there going back towards the camera. As I continue to turn with this nice one piece takeaway, when my club gets parallel to the ground, it should be roughly parallel to my target line. And then as my wrist hinge comes in, the low end of my club is going to roughly point at the target line. So, you know, I can't see exactly what this looks like. You can as you're watching this on your, on your computer or your phone or whatever, but you can see the low end of this club points roughly at the target line. If I start my downswing from here, it's really easy to get the club back towards the ball with the club face moving towards the target. So when we make a a bad backswing or a non one piece takeaway or a handsy takeaway and we don't turn our shoulders and we just start with the hands, look at what happens to the, the, the swing plane. So as I start going back and I get this club parallel to the ground, it's pointing, it's pointing way, way out there. As I continue making this backswing, a lot of times we see a super flat backswing. Well, from here to get back to the ball, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make a move like this. This is what we call over the top and then my club starts to swing from outside the target line over towards the ball. So, so this is really an explanation, number one, as to why it's so important to make a one-piece takeaway. And it's not that difficult to learn it. You just have to really commit to it. So if you're out there struggling with your golf game, you're probably a little bit handsy. Almost everybody that I look at that's higher than a two or three handicapper, when they get to this position right here, almost everybody, when they get to this position, their club is back here. It, it, it's back inside because they're not taking it back with their shoulders, they're using their hands. So here's what I want you to do. When you're not even around the golf course, you're not at the range, you, can, you don't even need a golf club. Get yourself in front of a mirror or a sliding glass door or something. Take your golf setup as best as you can, put your hands out in front of you and rock your shoulders. 
So my shoulders are initiating this swing, okay? To get a little more advanced, I may even give a little tilt to my spine because this is how we play golf, and turn those shoulders a little bit. And I wanna get used to my hands just hanging underneath my shoulders. If you look at me from this angle, from down the target line, look at this. Good setup is required, hands hanging straight down from my shoulders, but if I just turn those shoulders, see my hands are right out in front of my chest. If you do this move right here, and you take a look, Hands in front of chest, that's where we want to be. So when the club is in my hand, it's here. I will bet you, I guess if I did a standard bet with everybody watching this, I'd win tons of money. Because what most people are doing is this. Hands first, turn, hands are back behind them, and the club is really, really flat. Okay? So we've got to do this one piece takeaway. If you've got a golf club in your hand, Here's a great drill for it. Take your normal setup, and I'm gonna stay in my normal setup, and I'm gonna just kinda of shimmy this club up until the butt end of the club hits me right on my belt buckle. And from there, I'm gonna turn my shoulders. And I can see, I can look and just see, this is coming from my shoulders. It's not coming from my hands. This is called the butt in the gut drill. We can turn back. Once we get going a little bit, the club will come off of our, our belt buckle. I can see here it's either parallel to my target line or even the club head's a little bit outside of my hands and I'm gonna hinge it. This is the feeling that we wanna have. One piece takeaway and probably a little bit more upright of a backswing. This is something that doesn't require tons of skill or talent. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing. You have to be a little bit disciplined in how you go about getting started. But this is something that if you can get the takeaway correct, get your club in a decent swing plane coming back, it's gonna be so much easier to come from the inside of the target line and hit really good, powerful golf shots, a lot of draws, not a lot of slices. So one piece takeaway, I hope this helps. Just practice it and understand it. You'll definitely hit the ball a lot better.